So time for a more advanced topic. Let's talk about Dundas Script and how you can use it to make calculations on your dashboard to help with complex scenarios where you don't have the data to solve the problem. Now, non-technical people watching this, you're welcome to follow along, but this isn't necessarily for you. This is really meant for developers who understand scripting. This video is also a continuation to the Introduction to Formulas video that we created in the past. So if you haven't had a chance to check that one out, I do recommend you do because that will give you the baseline of what I'm doing today. I'm Jeff, and this is Off the Charts with Jeff. So without further ado, let's go right into an example. So in this example, we have a simple data set. We have campaigns that marketing's running, the type of campaign, how much we cost to run them, how many leads we're getting, and the date when we ran it. Using Dundas Script, I can add a formula in order to make more complex calculations than just some of the simple things that you would expect. Leads, times, investment, or you know, some kind of simple division, that type of thing. You can actually add your own C-sharp script to these formulas to calculate things that really aren't possible in any other way. So the first example, let's take that start date and I'm going to calculate how many days ago that is so that we have a number. I want to very quickly know, did I run this 10 days ago, 5 days ago? Just give me that value in this table. So let's add a formula. And you can see on the right, if I click on advanced, this allows me to type in C-sharp script. So we'll take our date time, dot now, that's the current date. And this will float with time, so when I check this tomorrow, my numbers change. We take the start date. And I'm going to use this value called member time, which gives me the date object from that column that I just clicked on. We want to know the days, so how many days since, and since it's C-sharp, we return it. Now do fill in these captions. This will make it a lot easier to understand what you're doing if you're chaining formulas together. Now that I have this, you can see that I've calculated the age based on today's date. Now that formula wasn't too bad. It was just a line of code. But let's take this one step further. I want to take that total investment amount and divide it into the number of leads we've got so that we can calculate the cost per lead. But I'm going to add a caveat to this. Because of that start date that we've calculated, I don't want to calculate the cost per lead if this has been less than 100 days. Because maybe this campaign hasn't had enough time to truly generate the leads that I expect, and I might get some really weird numbers. Right? If I've only generated two leads because the campaign just started, I don't want to see a million dollar cost per lead. So let's give it a little bit of time lag so that we can have correct values in our dashboard rather than just blindly calculating everything. This is why conditional and scripted formulas are really cool. And Dundas BI does a very good job with this. Let's go to formulas again, add another formula, same idea, advance. And you can see by adding this, we're calculating the same date time, but we added an if statement so that we know if it's less than 100 days. And if it is, we're going to return null, meaning we don't want to see anything in the value. If it is greater than 100 days, then we want to take that total investment and divide it by the leads. So we're doing this conditionally. Let's make sure we set those captions like before. And you can see now we have a cost per lead, but it's blanked out in cases where we're not ready to display that number yet. It hasn't been enough time. Let's take this one step further by adding yet another formula to this. So I want to start by adding a state calculation so that we can understand what a good or bad cost of lead would be. So same idea, advanced, let's paste this code in. And as I show you this, you can see if the age is greater than 100, we don't want to show anything. So that's why everything's wrapped in a big if statement. Right? If, I, if I don't show a cost per lead, why would I want to put a state for it? So let's just leave that blank. Next line down, you can see that if the campaign type is radio, then we have a specific cost per lead. We aren't willing to pay more than $320 per lead. Now below, if we select any other campaign type, as long as it's greater than 200, we consider that, again, too high. You see we have some else statements in here where anything else is considered okay, and then that null that I mentioned at the end because we don't want to see a calculation when the age hasn't been old enough. And now you can see I've calculated three new columns that we didn't have before 
as part of this new visualization that I'm going to create. Now let's go and add a state to the dashboard. We have this one or zero telling us whether or not something is good or bad. Now we can go up and click on states, add a state group, and then choose to target our status. Give it a name, doesn't matter. And then we add the two different conditions. So something would be considered no if we're less than or equal to. And I'm going to add a constant here, 1. So anything less than 1 is considered not acceptable. Anything greater, we say yes. And we'll just use that constant again. You can reuse it. Now by hitting preview, you can see that we actually go and color the dashboard. Now we just need to bake this dashboard for a few minutes to get some styling added. And you can see, we have a wonderful example where we have our base data, we have a couple calculations that we did based on some complex ideas, and we really extended this dashboard beyond what we could have done before. So that's it. I hope you liked this video. Dundas script with formulas is something that is insanely powerful and will get you around any of those oddball business cases that you have where everything's just not clear cut. It's not column divided by other column. It's just something much more complex, which is often the case in business. Now stay tuned. I do plan to do a lot more videos with formulas because there's a ton more that we can cover, but hopefully this is helpful to you. If you'd like to learn more, Please feel free to reach out to us. We'd happily give you a live demo of Dundas BI just by clicking on that button. And as always, we'd love to hear from you. Ask Jeff at Dundas.com. Always happy to hear feedback and always happy to take recommendations of content that you'd like to see. See you next time.